I'm Colin Nork, and I'm from Columbia Falls, Montana, all the way up by Glacier National Park. I'm looking at Stanford University, and my interests are in cognitive science, computer science, and astronomy or philosophy. And so I want to combine my cognitive science and computer science into looking at artificial intelligence and how that can possibly shape the world as we know it. And philosophy and astronomy just as my hobbies. I think they're incredibly cool. When I was young, I was diagnosed with severe autism. As I've gone through my life, um, it's had a huge impact on me. When I was young, I was extremely lucky to get an, an early diagnosis. And so all, all the therapy is essentially based around trying to break the mold of like, I get this or I need this, I want this, and trying to like show the person that they have um, that there are like, other people around them and trying to build that consciousness. I moved into therapy for seven hours a day, essentially for months, okay, no breaks. When, when the therapist left, my parents would have to continue the therapy. And so for me, what's, what's interesting about the experience is that I, I wasn't aware of myself. I wasn't aware of myself until one particular moment and it was in my second grade, I believe, and it was just this, this pop, okay? I'm suddenly aware, I was thinking. Everyone else around me was thinking, right? I, I wasn't the only one. And so at that moment, it was just like this huge switch. I wasn't like, it wasn't like I was cured or like regular from that point on, but after that point, I, be, I became more and more aware. The analogy I like to use is a kid learning how to swim when they're underwater. And so I was able to like, you know, surface into consciousness and then, you know, pull myself back up um, again and again until I could learn to tread water. It's an incredible thing because at that moment I realized that not only was it not just about me, but that I became conscious because of others. It, it wasn't me. I had four different therapists. I did like neural therapy for years. I had my mother who dedicated so much time and it made it painfully clear to me that you can't you can't tread water, you can't learn to swim without someone to teach you. And that now I'm, I'm in a position where I have the wonderful opportunity to teach others how to swim.